Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do the uh, what it means to be Irish tag. Um, I haven't actually been tagged by anyone but I've seen a lot of other Irish YouTubers doing the tag and I thought well it's St Paddy's Day, St Paddy's Day in a couple of days so why not. Let me just first explain probably don't sound like the other ones that's because I'm from Northern Ireland um, which is technically part of the UK but still Ireland I'll not go into it which is another part of being Irish or Northern Irish um, so without further ado uh, let's get going so the main bit to me about being Irish and what it means to me is the culture and the heritage we have um, and the community uh, that we normally have. I live in Leeds at the moment and it's such a different environment. Don't get me wrong, I love the people, but back home in Ireland, everybody knows everyone, um, well, where I'm from anyway, which can sometimes be both a blessing and a curse. Basically, everyone knows everyone's business before they even know it. The other thing is, I literally cannot go anywhere without knowing someone or someone knowing me. I've been abroad and still run into people that um, I know or who know me or who know me as my eldest brother's little sister, etc. And that's another thing. If you have got any older siblings, you'll know that you're always called by their nickname and on nicknames. Everybody in Ireland seems to have a nickname. The other thing is that there are several people that I know that I don't actually even know the real names. I just know them by their, their nickname. Being an Irish person not in Ireland, everybody seems to feel like it is their duty to copy the accent. And being Northern Irish, everybody seems to think I'm Scottish too. I've also been asked if I'm Australian. American. Oh, do you know so and so? Oh, I do, I know him well. Sure, he's the one there that lives down the road in that big house there. Aye, that's the boy. That's your one there. Never ever needing to study for anything because you know your mammy will have the candle lit. And if you ever lose anything, don't worry a thing about it because a wee prayer to St Anthony and you'll have it in no time. Why does every single night out seem to end in a sing song or in the Chinese? Half the people you know are either in Australia, have been to Australia or are definitely going to Australia. Only reason to ever do anything is for the crack. And a wee cup of tea solves everything and if you've got shock, or if you've had bad news, it definitely has to be black tea. Being stuck behind a tractor is a genuine excuse for being late. And if you're not from Belfast or Dublin, you're definitely a culture. And if you live outside of Ireland, you definitely have to um, explain that Irish is a language and not just an accent. If you didn't do Irish dancing as a Wayne, then you were missing out Westlife. Having about 75 million terms for being drunk and wondering why people think we're all pissheads. Airlocked, steaming, blocked, bluttered, take your pick. You definitely went to an underage disco at GAA Hall and you were definitely made to go to Mass. And you might have even stolen a bulletin from Mass just to pretend that you were there or to prove that you were there to your mammy. A rich culture featuring fairies, giants and banshees and everything else in between and being totally feared of the wooden spoon. And most of all, your mammy being the centre of your universe and if you don't know something your mommy certainly will. So that's my what it means to me to be Irish or Northern Irish. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will tag some people in the description if they haven't already done it. I know it's a bit short notice if you want to get it up for St Paddy's but I hope you've enjoyed it. Something a bit different from me. If you liked it give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye!